Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to do a multiple key press command in the SciTech uh, smart technology uh, software. So what you want to do is uh, just right click in one of the boxes that you want to assign. Uh, right click and then go to new advanced command. And then make a, a name for this. So I'll just call it test and then click in the pressed bo uh, box right here and you can see I've got a little blinky cursor and I'm going to hit uh, left control and comma and you can see as I did that um, that I've got a total of four key presses now I've got the control and the comma and uh, the shadow on the left and top indicates that the button is pressed down imagine that there's a light source uh, on your keyboard uh, shining from the uh, top left corner of your keys shining across your keyboard. Um, so whenever you push keys down, they're going to be indented uh, as indicated by the shadow on the left and top. And then when they're raised, you can see the light is now on the left and top. And now the shadow is on the, the right and the bottom. So what you want to do now is take these two keys by left clicking and then hold down control and highlight them both. Then right click and say cut and bring the two raised commands to the release box and right click in there and say paste. So now you in the pressed box you've got two keys that are pressed down and in the release box you've got two keys that are released or in a raised position. So now you can see that there's also a time here 0 0.000 and then you can see like this time uh, increases from the first key press to the last. Uh, what you need to do is quantize the time so it looks like it's uh, the first, you know, like the each key, you know, each time both of these is pressed down that they're pressed the same time acting as a single key. So you uh, click once to highlight the the, con uh, the uh, box here and then hit control, press and hold down control, click again to highlight them both, right click and then come down here to quantize time. Uh, make sure that the seconds box is all zeros. Go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it's going to change them both to 0 0.000. And then do the same for the release. Quantize time. Make them zero. And that's basically it. So basically uh, for this name of this command is test. When uh, control and comma are pressed down, they're going to be pressed at the same exact time. And then when they're released, uh, they're going to be released at exactly the same time as well. So then you say OK. And now you can see here that it applied that same setting across all of my modes. And you can see that uh, it's properly done because I've got two keys and they have this um, gray shadow on the left and top of the box, uh, indicating that it is a simultaneous push down of both keys. That's it. Save your, pro uh, your profile and then test it out. You can actually test it right, right in here by hitting this little gear and let's see that was the trigger button so now you can see when I press and release that I get one uh, set that's actually in black which is saying that the control key and the comma is pressed down and then uh, the comma and then control t key is gray indicating that it's a release and I'll do that again and I'll press and hold it down this time and you can see it just wants to do the comma and then I release and then it does the comma and control key in gray. Uh, you can clear that out and that's it. Thanks for watching.